Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you on this tutorial how you can present your GIS data. You up the, when you're in, in layer view, you come to page setup and you set up your paper size for printing and in this case I'll use portrait okay right and then make your scale let's say 2000 I don't know whether it can be too much or too small depending on it okay it's too small okay use your pan to to move this okay but first let me create Yeah. all right let me arrange how i want the data to look like okay i'll come and inside where's my draw to Okay, my draw to I'm going to pick it up and I will draw on to define where I want the map to be. Okay, double click on it, make it hollow, and make this black. And okay, <coughs> another one. draw okay Another one. Last one now. So let me edit them now. So why am I making all these things? I'm just creating like a place where I can easily fill in my information, my map here, I fill in my entire information and so on and so forth, you know. So that's what I really want to do. So you know, I can now adjust my map to a scale that will be okay for this. Let me use K500 and see. Okay. I think this is 
Okay. This is okay for me. <coughs> right. So now what I will do I will just adjust them so that they balance with each other. Okay. Now, what I'll do here, I can decide to put this map here in case maybe I have, I want to do it in uh, uh, sheet by sheet. I can put the entire of this boundary up here, the entire of this into this. Let me continue so that I don't talk too much. So here I'll inside my legend, okay, so the next thing is inside a legend. That's what I want to be on the legend. I think let me just use this one. Okay, I want it to be two rows. Okay, can decide to add or just to give it a border or it's your choice. Then we finish it up. Now I can double click to edit it. And you see all this, you can edit them the way you want. Okay, this item. Okay, we want to edit so that our legend can be good. You go to style, then you choose any of the style you like. These are the previews. So you can choose anyone, anyone at all that suits you then you ok it you apply and ok to rebuild it so you can see now before they were standing but now you can see that they are ok so it's a bit better so you can adjust it so that it can fit into where you've built for it ok yeah Okay, so now next we we'll inside our title. Topographic, okay, or mapping. Anyhow, any title you choose. Or CES Kaduna. Technique Kaduna Nigeria. So, any title you like for yourself, then
click to edit the title change the the symbol reduce the font size to something that will be able to fit in then I think you can okay okay so this can be up here okay and then you can decide to bold it if you want so anyhow you just adjust them the way you want you know then here the next you insert a not arrow no app gis you know it's it has orient everything so any new arrow you change that orient everything to the north so you choose any of the north arrow that suits you and then uh, replace it adjust it to the size you want okay then here you can bring in the data like the origin information concerning this work you can put it here you can okay let me put in this data into this place okay now i have to add another data frame by coming to this data frame okay i will make it such a way that it will enter that place Let's zoom it a bit okay Alright, so now come here, activate it, then copy the boundary, or let's say I'll copy the most most of the work the way it is there. But let's just use a boundary okay okay then okay this is active call I'll paste a layer okay so you can see that the boundary is showing here showing the extent of this work entirely right here you know this can help you to do like full uh, uh if you are doing control extension you can just put your control extension by this side showing on the map you know uh, that cadastra and the rest of so you can do a lot a lot of things you continue editing until you know you just sit down think and create something that you know you really love not you know things you love okay so that you can put more and more and more and more information create something simple and something unique at the end so i just wanted to show you how you can do it on your own you know so thank you for watching stay tuned to my channel deep map solution click like subscribe share to your friends see you